Hey everyone, this is Judy from Happy Holistics and welcome to another yoga video. Let's begin in a comfortable seated position. We want to take this time to commit to our practice. Even though today is just a short warm-up sequence, we can always choose to be focused on our own breath or be totally distracted by what's going on around us. If you'd like to stay a little bit longer, hit pause. Otherwise, let's make our way to Downward Facing Dog. Allow your feet to pedal. Bend one knee and lift the heel while extending the other knee to drop the heel. Alternate like this a few times, going as fast or as slow as it feels good. Settle into your expression of down dog. If you'd like more information about doing dog pose, check out my Downward Dog 101 video. The link is listed down below. Walk your feet up to your hands to hang in ragdoll. Allow a deep bend through your knees to release the hamstrings and clasp opposite elbows if that's comfortable. Sway from side to side shaking your head no and nodding your head yes. Come back to center, release the hands to your mat and take a slow roll up to stand. Roll your shoulders open and back and bring the palms to touch at your chest. Reach your arms up on the inhale and take a side bend to your left on the exhale. Breathe in to stretch through center, scrunching your shoulders up, then breathe out, side bend to your right. Inhale, lengthen at center, Exhale, palms come through the heart center and fold forward over bent knees. Inhale to a flat back, palms come to shin. Exhale to fold forward, bending at the knees. Inhale, sweep all the way up. And exhale, palms to the chest. We'll take a couple more half sun salutations just like this. Link your breath with movement. So sweep up as you inhale, bow over soft knees as you exhale. Lengthen the crown forward as you inhale, belly to thigh as you exhale. Inhale, lift up, and exhale, hands in prayer. Breathe in, stretch to the sky. Breathe out, drape over bent knees. Breathe in for halfway lift, palms to your shin. Breathe out, fold. Breathe in, come all the way up, and we'll take one more round. Fill your belly with air as you reach up. Exhale, release to the ground. Inhale, heart moves forward. And on your out breath, hands come to your mat, step the left foot back and drop the knee. In low lunge, breathe in to shift your hips forward. Breathe out to straighten your front leg to bring your hips back. Take this time to cycle back and forth between low lunge and half splits, moving along with your inhales and exhales. Once you've done about three in each direction, we'll meet in our low lunge. Then keeping the legs where they are, walk your fingertips over to the left side. We're looking for elongation of your spine, so make sure you're not crunching in your side waist. If it feels good, you can also let the right knee open out to the side. Come back to center, tuck your back toes and we'll transition to our downward facing dog. From here, let's inhale to shift forward, lowering the hips to the same plane as your head and ankles. Then we'll exhale back to our inverted V shape. Breathe in for plank pose, wrists underneath the shoulders. Then back to downward facing dog, option for straighter legs this time. Keep the belly lifted and engaged as you move through plank. Then draw the hips up and back. 
Release both knees to the mat, then lower all the way to your belly. Place your hands forward and down like you're making a football goal post. Tent up your palms as you roll into a low cobra. Refrain from pushing into your hands to get higher in this pose. If there's any sensation going into the lower back, ease up a little by bringing the chest closer to the floor. Let go of your cobra pose, plant your hands next to your ribs, and press up into your tabletop position. Stack the shoulders above the wrists and hip bones above the knees. Cycle between a few cat and cow poses by hollowing out your chest with your inhales, then melting the belly down with your exhales. Find expansion through the entire back body, then widen your collarbone forward. Press the palms into your mat to encourage the arch in your spine. Then shrug the shoulder blades together to melt your heart forward. Round into your cat, then return to a neutral spine. Walk your palms forward, curl your toes under, and lift the hips into a downward dog. Look forward and step the left foot between your hands. Lower the back knee to the floor and we'll transition between low lunge and half split, same as before, just on this second side. As we come forward, we open up the hip flexors of the back leg. And as we move into half splits, we lengthen the hamstrings of the front leg. Reach the chest forward to stretch the front of your thigh. Then exhale to shift back. Pause the next time you're in your lunge, then bring both hands over to the right hand side. Reach them far out, all the way to the edges of your mat, then even beyond that onto the ground. Think about expansion not only through the left side body, but also the right side. Walk your palms back to frame your front foot, then tuck the back toes under and step to the front of your mat. From your fold, come into halfway lift on your in-breath, and then exhale to fold again. Rise up to stand as you inhale, and exhale hands to the chest. Circle your arms to upward hand pose, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale to fold forward Uttanasana. Inhale to halfway lift Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, plant your palms, step the right foot back and lower the knee to the ground. Take the front foot over to the edge of your mat and stay on your fingertips. Place the hands onto the floor or come onto your elbows if that's comfortable. Try not to let your front knee sway out to the side, but hug it into the center. Curl the back toes under and lift the knee. This is a huge hip opener for a lot of us, so steady the breath and see if you can find ease in this challenge. Step the front foot to meet the back, either into dolphin plank or regular plank. This depends on whether you are on your forearms for the last pose or on your hands. Release to your belly and place your forearms on the floor if they're not there already. Keep the elbow crease underneath the shoulders, then round the spine to lift at the hips. Lower to Sphinx Pose, and if this is too much pressure on your lower back, move your hands and elbows forward. Alternate between these two poses, either staying on your knees or tucking the toes under to transition between Forearm Plank and Sphinx Pose. If you have your toes tucked, be careful not to let your belly droop. From Sphinx, move your hands next to your ribs, transitioning to Child's Pose by bringing the belly to rest at your thighs. You can take big toes to touch, knees apart or together, and allow your weight to rock from side to side. Begin activating your arms by walking your hands forward and finding lift at the wrists and elbows. Press into your palms to shift into your downward facing dog. Preparing for the second side, take a big step forward with your right foot and drop the back knee. Walk the front foot to the edge of your mat and take the same hand position you took with the first side. 
Since I was on my forearms earlier, I'm taking the same variation to achieve balance, even though our two sides may feel different. Keep your gaze fixed and try not to just let your head hang. Keep it in the same line as your spine and think about elongating the crown forward. Firm into the back foot to lift the back knee and think positive thoughts. We're only here for a couple more seconds and we can totally do it, so keep breathing. Without trying to rush into any pose, step the front foot all the way back to your plank variation. And then lower the belly to the floor, transitioning into Sphinx Pose. Since everybody loves abdominal curls, let's make it happen. Lift the belly up and without actually moving your hands, knees, or feet, see if you can energetically draw the palms and knees towards the center. Sink your belly to the earth and broaden your collarbone, then lift into your forearm plank variation. Take three more rounds of each pose. And again, if you want more fire, plank on your toes instead of on your knees. Take one more and let's make it the best plank ever. Then release down to the ground, take your belly to your thigh and rest in child's pose. Stay here for as long as you need or make your way to Shavasana. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe to my channel and comment below to let me know what other types of videos you'd like to see. See you next time!